black girl joy. Unwrapping the coils of mystery that have been restrained and taught so that even I believe there is one truth of our sisters and I. The tension alopecia in pulling back and scraping her story causes amnesia. Relentlessly patting the forgotten space designed for our baby hairs to carry the crowns on our heads. The immediate gratification tries to buy us off with plastic replicas of our black girl joy, polluting the universe we call queen with throwaway comparative concepts of how we should smile, injecting us with an abundance of insecurities that loud girls are crazy, big girls aren't sexy, natural hair is unruly, white is all beauty, black suffering is the only story. Gaslighting while heating up the repressive flat irons, waiting for us to accept that we must be angry for no reason. We must look upon our cisterns with green eyes and competition, hoping that what is made to destroy us won't make us stronger in our fight to fulfill the melanin quota. Except appeasement cannot be achieved in the curious minds of black girl joy and the empresses that walk in our skin. In the detanglement of matted lies, I and the cisterns tend to the endings of the fine-toothed comb. In the releasing of generational poisonous practices, there are many truths to realize that not all is good and beautiful is fair. That loud girls have validity in what they say. Big girls, ooh, sex appeal, oh, damn day. Natural hair is professional and stylish in every way. All black is beautiful. What did I say? All black is beautiful. Rinse and repeat. All black is beautiful.